Today, we are going to be installing the Bobo VR S3 Pro head strap onto my MetaQuest 3. Uh, on the last head strap video I did for my MetaQuest 3, I actually had the Bobo VR, I have to put on the screen which one this is, uh, installed on there, but I put it on my son's MetaQuest 2. It doesn't quite fit. Uh, the MetaQuest 3 sidebars are taller and thicker, so I just put a piece of foam in there and the front strap pretty much holds it on. But my biggest reason for upgrading to the S3 is because it has a built-in fan. And if you have glasses and if you play for any amount of time and you get hot, you know that your glasses fog up. So this should provide airflow to keep it from fogging up. Uh, I've been using Les Mills um, workout and it gets hot in there. So I think a little bit of airflow will help out tremendously. How do you open this thing? So let's get this unboxed. It shouldn't take but a second to get it installed. And then let's get this thing up and running. I'm really excited for the built-in fan. I was going to get a external fan, but they were like $30 and this whole headset was like 80. So this should be a pretty straightforward installation. Oh, and this doesn't have the head strap that connects to the front. Huh. All right. So basically we are just going to take it and just slide it on into the bars. And I mean, that should be pretty much the whole installation. And then connect the power cord. And that should be it. And then the battery installs on the back, like so. And let me see. So the fan does not operate unless the battery pack is connected. So that is important to know. And then right now, the fan is on 26%. And that's not bad. That is not loud at all. Oh, so the fan is at 100. It shows that the battery is 26%. That's pretty cool. Uh, most of the reviews said that uh, the fan at about 50% is the best for flow and for the ambient noise of the fan. But I am really interested to see how this works but for install that's all it is to it and it does have the adjustment and I like this adjustment in the back because the knob is actually inside so if you wanted to you could actually lay down to put your head on the back of something where on this one is actually external uh, but for the most part both of the headsets are very very similar just the biggest difference being the fan and it seems like the the cup on the back is a little bit bigger on this one as well but both of these are comparable I just wanted the fan